Disasters in the past decade have caused 225 million internal displacements in Asia and the Pacific, accounting for 78% of the global total. My name is Michelle Chidic. I attended the opening of the launch of the project today, um, RICD. And this for me, I would say, was quite eye-opening. It was an opportunity to meet with people outside of my comfort zone, outside of the, the natural kind of interlocutors that I have on a day-to-day -day basis. And that included people from academia, from think tanks, we're aiming here to dramatically increase the reliability and the granularity of data on the likelihood or the risks of people having to move in the future as a result of the impacts of climate change. In order to do this, we've enlisted the support of 21 expert institutions from universities to co-create or co-develop with us an advanced analytical model that will help us in understanding these risks in the future. We have gathered many experts here to discuss the framework and methodology on how we can really understand the link between migration and climate change. I think oftentimes you work in siloed situations, but really this is such a complex problem that we cannot be addressing it by ourselves. Because my background is in data analytics and uh, big data and artificial intelligence, so in this symposium, the domain expertise, they know the problem. They don't know how to solve it. Where's the data? How to build the model? How to estimate or evaluate the results? That's my experience can contribute. We have a lot of experience in the region working for the community-based approach and the helping government to develop the policies. Coming here is important because I can learn from my colleagues. So I can take it back and customize it to suit the local context. For us, this is not just talk. For us, this is an indication of our willingness and commitment to act. The Philippines was just elected uh, a host of the LNDF uh, board. And for us, we think that it's a step in the right direction. The world is looking at us. The most vulnerable communities are looking at us, not only the migrant and displaced community, everyone affected by climate change is looking at all of us to come together, academia, private sector, UN agencies, communities, member states, and operationalize what we talk about. So I think today's event basically showcased and highlights the importance of thinking outside of the box, of thinking what we can do differently how we can team up together and address and mitigate against climate change.